Tonight on America's Forecasters, we introduce you to a meteorologist who not only flies into hurricanes, but also enjoys storming around a tennis court. Look at him. He's, I can't, can't get it by him. He's an animal on this court. It's kind of like torture, except that you'll like it. When he's not smacking a tennis ball, Great. Dick Fletcher Great. is chief meteorologist at WTSB in Tampa, Florida. He's been there since 1980. Of course, we have hurricanes. That's our big fear. We're in hurricane season right now. There is no one else I would trust for a forecast than Dick Fletcher. Fletcher has flown into the eye of three hurricanes on reconnaissance missions, but his feet were firmly on the ground when Hurricane Elena threatened Tampa in 1985. Could have been much worse. Uh, the storm never came within 80 miles of the uh, Pinellas County coastline. It still caused more than $100 million worth of damage on those beautiful barrier island beaches from Clearwater southward all the way down to the mouth of Tampa Bay. Whether it be just severe thunderstorms or hurricanes approaching the Bay Area, the man literally works around the clock and they have to tell him, go home, get some sleep. And he doesn't. He stays. And he'll go until he drops. And that's the type of person he is. It's not just viewers. He handles calls from anxious colleagues who are out covering stories during afternoon thunderstorms. Yeah, the stuff is straight east of you. You're not on till 6, right? You aren't going to have a problem. It's going to rain itself out by then. I never dread coming to work. Uh, I look forward. I look forward to the weekends, but I look forward to the days when I do work too, because it, to me, it is fun. And it's also fun on the court. Well, sometimes. If it wasn't for work, he would be here all day. We have to run him off when it's time to go. Whoa, nice angle there. Dick Fletcher, a man who served Tampa well on the court and on TV for more than 23 years. And we'll check on the forecast across America coming up in the next seven days in your weekly plan. And this week's flooding has made many people change the way they get around. Find out if you'll have to change your travel plans. That's coming up in TWC Travel Forecast.